The now ousted FBI director and the man who fired him in an awkward television moment that tonight has new meaning. It started, a friend of James Comey's says, when the FBI director arrived in the Blue Room of the White House on January 22nd. Comey was hoping President Trump wouldn't notice him and even stood as far from the president as possible. Comey's friend says the six foot eight director wearing a blue suit was trying to blend in with the blue curtains, but the president singled him out. Oh, and there's James. He's become more famous than me. <laughs> Comey's friend says he was annoyed. Comey didn't want to seem friendly with the president, so he tried to avoid getting too close. If you watch the video, he extends his hand, and, and Comey's arms are really long, and he extends his hand kind of preemptively, and Trump grabs the hand and kind of pulls him into a hug. But the hug is entirely one-sided, so one guy in the hug is shaking hands, and the other guy is hugging. Benjamin Wittes told PBS his friend Comey did not want to be at the White House event two days after the inauguration with the president whose campaign he was investigating, but he felt he couldn't refuse attending a reception for law enforcement. Wittes says that moment was one of a few incidents where Comey felt President Trump inappropriately tried to get chummy with him. One time, he says, the president even telephoned Comey as the director was boarding a helicopter, not for an emergency, just to make small talk. Witta says Comey eventually felt he had to coach the White House to not have the president contact him directly. The color of the wallpaper was that these were not honorable people and that protecting the FBI from them was his day's day job. Former FBI and justice officials say it's protocol for the FBI director to not appear to be personally close to the president. If you have an investigation, if you have allegations made against the president or against members of his administration or people they're considering for the administration, you don't want the appearance of lack of objectivity, let's say, or bias on the part of the FBI. Former FBI Assistant Director Tom Fuentes says it's possible President Trump simply didn't know better than to reach out to Comey directly, but others believe the contacts were calculated. What Trump was doing right from the beginning uh, was trying to get close to Comey, trying to feel him out, uh, trying to get him on board. And when that didn't happen, I think Trump realized that there was no way that this guy was going to be on board uh, and that his only choice in trying to scuttle this investigation was to get rid of the director of the FBI.